Okay, smile. Look at that one, it's so cute. Yeah, that one's good. Maybe I could be better there. Okay, what hashtag should I use? Hashtag? Yeah. This isn't going on any social media. What do you mean? It's our vacation. This relationship is a secret till we get married. Oh, guess we were just raised differently then. Well, I was raised 9,000 miles away, so there's bound to be some differences. And here are just a few. Let's roll the intro. If you grew up in a typical neighborhood in America, you probably grew up in a house that looks like this. Four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a garage, and a dog. And if you grew up in India, most likely you grew up in something like this. But as different as they look on the outside, they're surely just as different on the inside. American houses always come with central air, an oven, and a dishwasher. Indian houses do come with a maid, and what we lack in space, I must say there's a bunch of kids in the neighborhood and the complex. That leads to a lot of friends for you to play cricket with. If you grew up in India, you most likely grew up watching Shole and DDLJ. Well, I wasn't watching those because I was busy watching Titanic, Star Wars, and Jurassic Park. Honey, I must say those were pretty popular in India too. In fact, Everybody loves a dinosaur movie. Oh, we sure do. And a sinking ship, I must say. <laughs> In fact, honey, I bet Bollywood does have pretty good versions of Hollywood movies. Oh, yeah? Well, let's try it out. Yeah, go ahead. You certainly don't have a match for The Godfather. We got Sarkar. All right, well, how about Hitch? We got Partner. All right, those were easy. You certainly don't have a match for a beloved young Drew Barrymore, America's sweetheart, when she rescues and finds a baby alien and takes him home to her closet and even dresses him up like a doll for protection until he can just go home. E.T. Well, we did have Hrithik Roshan put Jadu in a basket and ride around town. Koi Milgya. That does sound very similar. <laughs> All right, movies, fine, but not our TV shows. What do you have as a match for American Idol? Well, that'd be the easiest, Indian Idol. <laughs> How about Big Brother? Close, Big Boss. All right, well, I know I wanna be a millionaire. How about who wants to be a millionaire? Well, you may not get a million dollars, but we can sure make a crore rupees. I know you don't know what that exactly <laughs> amounts to, but con banega karod pati is what I mean. You know, that one's on me because I do remember that show being very prominent in my favorite movie, Slumdog Millionaire. <laughs> Indian cable TV does have a lot of channels, probably 100, 200 of them, and some regional ones. So the amount of TV shows and movies is pretty insane. Well, while we also have a lot of TV channels, the main three networks in America are ABC, NBC, and CBS, which have given us some of our favorite TV shows like Friends, The Office, and there was a long period of time where everybody was glued to their TV watching Desperate Housewives. I must agree, Friends, How I Met Your Mom, Big Bang Theory, those are pretty popular in India too. I remember going around with a pen drive try trying to get those. Does that mean even though we grew up thousands of miles away, we were watching the same TV shows? Kinda yes. Probably that's why our relationship works with some of the jokes we can reference. Oh my gosh. Are you licensed to drive this thing? Well, we're 16 and it's America, so yeah. Trust me guys, I tried to look 16. It's the best I <laughs> Kids in America start gearing up for their driver's license at age 15 when we take driver's ed class in public school. A 
soon as we turn 16, our parents drive us straight to the DMV so we can get our actual driver's license and we can start taking our younger siblings to ballet and soccer practice. If this was 16 and we are in India, I'd be picking you up on this. And if you're 18, we'd upgrade to a motorcycle. Well, it's time for drinking age, I guess. If you're in India, it all depends on the state you're in. Of the 29, alcohol consumption is illegal in five of them. And if you're planning a trip and that's important to you, you might want to come up with a good excuse to plan a detour right away. This is the fun part. In some of the states like Maharashtra, where I grew up in, you need a permit to drink. And the thing is, I don't know of a single friend who has this so-called permit. So quite evidently, drinking laws aren't strictly enforced in India. Well, unlike India, our drinking age is very enforced in America. And until you're 21, you're not allowed to enter a bar or order a drink from a restaurant. So needless to say, on our 21st birthdays, we have a pretty good time. Dating is pretty open here in America. Kids willy-nilly introduce their new partners to the parents and their family all the time. They even bring them to family holidays. While in India, you gotta date like some super spy. Dating is a big fat secret from the parents and the entire neighborhood. For sure, no posting on social media. Mom, Dad, I didn't have a girlfriend. No, 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 no. When it comes time for baby, Americans get the thrill of a gender reveal at about 18 weeks of pregnancy. And when it comes time for the big day, both mom and dad head into the delivery room for the birth. While planning on pink or blue may sound like fun, in India it's against the law to know the sex of the baby. The element of surprise sure may seem fun. When it comes to the breathtaking delivery time, the dads are left in the lobby while the moms are trusted to the doctors. They have to do it all by themselves in India. When it comes to sleeping arrangements, it's very common in India to co-sleep. So in America, while parents are trying everything under the sun to get their toddler to sleep in their own room, in their own bed. In India, it's very common for the kid to sleep with the parents till around six. Embarrassingly enough, I must admit, I'm surely one of them. <laughs> Hair care is not really considered for infants here in America, besides the occasional bow or hat. However, in India, it's very common for parents to shave their baby's head. There are religious reasons behind it, but mainly it's known to bring on a full head of luscious hair. I was not one of them for this one, to be honest. Something I find interesting here is Americans use babies as an excuse to upgrade from a car to a minivan. And I'm like, how big is this baby? In India, a baby does just fine on a motorcycle. summertime, America is all about their family vacations, and as soon as the kids are out for summer, they are packed in the minivans and headed straight to their favorite regional destinations. However, I'd wager to say the majority of America has fond memories of driving all night long to go to Disney World or even the Grand Canyon. As for India, we don't have an iconic theme park like that. But some of the cliche popular destinations would be Taj Mahal, Shimla, Manali, Uti, to be honest, I've not been to any of those. But subscribe to our channel because we are heading there in two months. When it's time to refill our pantries here in America, we pack up our minivans and head straight to Walmart, Costco and Sam's where we can live out all of our bulk buying dreams. India does have supermarkets, but most of the shopping is usually done at local family owned stores. In fact, at times for convenience, stuff is delivered to you. Oh, we have that. Instacart. I'd say the original version of Instacart. Fun fact, milk is usually delivered in these fun bags. Those are so cute! As for me in America, we love buying frozen prepackaged meat such as ground turkey, ground beef, and chicken breast. We store it in our freezer for months so it's always on hand no matter what casserole we need to make. In India, we hardly ever stock food for more than a couple of days. If you want to get meat, you just head down to your local butcher and that's it, fresh meat right there. But you might have a tough time finding beef. Schools in America are interesting. 
Firstly, public grade schools are free. Secondly, schools are assigned to you based on where you live. Parents do tend to move to find a better school. Whereas most kids in America go to public school, most kids in India go to private school, which are really pricey and quite a task for parents to find the perfect one to send their kids to. As American students reach the end of their junior and senior years of high school, our minds tend to fade away from math class and into much more important things like choosing our prom dresses and finding a date for prom. Just like the movies portray, high school proms do tend to be the most pivotal part of high school. No fun dances here. I'd consider myself lucky if I got to sit next to a pretty girl. <laughs> Career choices obviously have a significant impact on how we grow up. In India, society plays a major part in influencing your career choice. More often than not, it's be a doctor or an engineer. I'm one of those cliches. The term follow your dream isn't really followed there. But on the flip side, it keeps you on track for a safer future. Imagine if I were to choose to be an artist because it sounds cool. I'm pretty sure I'd regret it and quite possibly it would have been too late by the time I realized I'm not really gifted. American households do tend to be more liberal, and though of course it depends on your household's expectations, we're generally pretty accepting when it comes to choosing a major. Financial statuses can lessen or greaten the cultural divide, but nonetheless, it's quite clear to see that Telwin and I were raised differently. What was the most shocking difference you heard from our video? Or add your own. Mine was the co-sleeping situation, which actually stemmed the idea for this video. Hey guys, it'd be nice to have more subscribers than just our moms, so please do, and we'll see you on the other side with some more fun stuff lined up. Bye!